Welcome to Ben and Lucy try and recreate the wines of Roshar. We made the horrible decision of trying to make the wines of Roshar. Um, and so that's what we've done, as you can see here. Uh, we have created the pink, the orange, the yellow, the auburn, the red, the sapphire, the blue, and the violet. Ignore that the blue is quite purple. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, guys. It's okay. Just add less purple and you get... Yes. We are We are not wine makers. What do you call wine makers? I don't know. We, we're not... We're not French. <laughs> we're not... <laughs> we're not Italian. Um... We, um... <laughs> I should also preface this by saying we don't drink a lot of alcohol and we don't really make a lot of cocktails. So I'm sure there's probably better things that we could have added. There's probably better ways of doing this, but um, yeah, here see, we go. Here's the thing, because we're not winemakers, we just, these are more cocktails. Uh, uh, so That's Because you can't make a blue wine. Oh my God, I reckon if we tried hard enough, we could make a blue wine, but we didn't. We just made cocktails. Uh, using the alcohol that we've had in our house for years. Um, so, uh, so uh, enjoy. Mm, enjoy. Uh, we're going to jump into how we made these, then we're going to do a taste test, and then we're going to do um, a regret <laughs> section. <laughs> cool. So, enjoy. Enjoy of making these. Right. So, first, we're going to be starting with pink and orange. So, Looking at the Wines of Rochar diagram, Pink specifically says floral and AIDS alertness. Yeah. And it's got a little like side squiggle note from Naz that says, I've had milk more intoxicating than this. Cool. So that tells me Pink is non-alcoholic. Pretty much, yeah. I would say entirely non-alcoholic. So this is what I'm going with. Okay. I was going to use pink tonic water, however, it wasn't as pink as I wanted it to be. So I am going with some rhubarb and raspberry. It's got the colour. It's got the colour, absolutely. <laughs> and I'm sure it's going to be delicious for me. Yep, I'm hey. going to be, uh, okay. I'm going to be doing uh, orange, which is described as fruity with a hint of ginger. But the thing is, is that mine's going to be closer to ginger with a hint of fruit. Because I'm starting with a nice ginger beer base. Oh, is yours just the, the pink tonic water? Yeah. <laughs> you were doing something with it. Cool. Enjoy. That's that's our first wine of Rochard. Uh, I, I don't know, like, because of the background screen, I don't know how well you're going to see it. That's anything. a good point. I'm going to come pink. over here for some uh, for my next ingredients in the orange. So orange is the next one. See, that's just kind of like a cloudy yellow. I thought, how could I make this a bit oranger? And so I got some kumquat liqueur. You can just use anything orange. It's cool. So I'm basically just doing like half a shot because it's not supposed to be super alcoholic. And I'm going to give that a little stir. And then there is our orange wine of Russia. Cool. So whiny. So whiny. Um, right. That is good. This is good. Like out of all of the drinks that we've planned, that's the one I drink, like, quite happily drink. Next we have, oh, next we have the yellow and the auburn. Oh no. <laughs> um, oh, so Lucy, no. you walk through how you're doing the yellow and then we'll get into how I'm doing the auburn. Okay. Yellow, it says it's bold and deep without guilt. That is all that you get for yellow. So, I was thinking I needed something alcoholic that was yellow. So I'm going with some limoncello. Mmm, very nice. In our ta Leaning Tower of Pizza bottle. Yeah, it's what happens when uh, everyone buys you alcohol <laughs> and you don't want to drink it, so it just stays on the shelf for years. We have literally, yeah, we, we aren't big drinkers. I mean, we are British, so we do drink. Um, but everyone buys us alcohol okay. for Christmas and then we just never drink it. So that's, that's what we're doing here. We're drinking our alcohol. Yeah, and um, I would say like 90% of this has been brought for us and uh, <laughs> has been sat there for years, completely yes. untouched. Luckily, alcohol doesn't go out of date. I hope. We'll find we'll out. We'll find out. <laughs> so I'm going with two shots of limoncello and a shot of, I don't know, but it's vanilla flavoured. This is supposed to be the third most intoxicating and you're putting three shots in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but... Yeah. They're both like low volume percentage. Okay. And like these are big 
glasses. These are red glasses. wine glasses. This is like these are like half. So it's in not there. got a lot of alcohol in it, considering. And then I'm throwing in some lemonade to mix it. We good? There we go. So we got our, we got our yard. Yellow. Good. Why is there flashing light? Oh, it's the. <laughs> it's the oh my god, the, the, the lemonade is like. It's having a disco. Like, it's just having a disco. So, for the herb, for the orban, I'm going to cut to past Ben because past Ben, this took some preparation. Uh, so, you take it away, past Ben. Thanks, future Ben. It's past Ben here the night before with past Lucy. And we're making the Auburn right now, which is described as spicy taste with an earthy aroma. That kind of sounds like mulled wine. So the way we're doing this is we're getting, we're going to make mulled wine and then we're going to add stuff to it to make it less red and more urban. I was going to say, it's not quite mulled wine. It's more just sort of like wine that's got spices in it overnight. Yeah, because like normally with the heat up mulled wine or that kind of thing, what we're doing is we're getting a nice... Chianti. Ah. Yeah, that goes good with kidney beans as per Hannibal Lecter. And is it we're going kidney to... beans or is it flava beans? Oh, it's flava beans, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's flava beans. How dare you? How dare I get my uh, Science of the Lambs rock? <laughs> Easy peasy. That's how you open a bottle of wine. Normally when you put things in a jar, you put them in a normal jar. I don't own any normal jars, I just have this skull jar. So we're putting this in the skull jar overnight. Right, so we're saying about half and half? I would go with a quarter first yeah. and then see the colour and then add more. That's about a quarter. That, definitely half. That bit is way thinner than that bit, which is what is how I'm justifying this. So we've got some red. Um, now Lucy, what are we putting in this? We're putting in a couple of cinnamon sticks. Just one. Just one. Can't wait to drink this. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so auburn. It's gonna be so spicy with an earthy aroma. That's one cinnamon stick for you. Uh, uh, we've got some star anise. I'd probably, again, only put like one or two in. Gonna put two in. So we've got two star anise. Uh, we're gonna put some cloves in it. Uh, Lucy, how many cloves am I gonna put in? Not a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna put like three in. Do you, do you wanna do the cloves? Right. Cool. By the way, the reason I'm asking Lucy all these questions is because Lucy's made mulled wine before and I haven't. So this is all kind of new to me and I'm just kind of relying on my wife knowing okay. what's going on. How much was that? That was like, like four. That was like four balls of clove. It's got a really overpowering taste. So if you put too much in there, you're going to regret it. Mm. And do you have berries? Two or three? Uh, no, no, no. You can probably do like... Yeah, that should be all right. So I put it... Can you, can you see on the camera? It's just some. There you go, some, just some, some, just a bit, just a bit. Right, so then we're going to put some nutmeg on there because that will give us the spice. Go get some spice in your spice, but earthy aroma. Was that way too much? <laughs> I put way too much nutmeg in there. You're going to get high off this stuff. Right, and then a bit of ground oh, ginger. Oh man, that is brown. <laughs> Auburn's brown, right? Yeah. That's a good amount of ginger. Okay, cool. So we've got a good amount of ginger. Now we thought. So much nutmeg. Look, way too much nutmeg. You're gonna get nutmegged. Don't put too much nutmeg in it. But what we were thinking is the auburn has. To, it, this is the auburn, right? We've got red wine in there with a bunch of. So that just looks Stuff. really unappealing. Stuff. With a bunch of stuff, which should darken the color. Because we want to turn this red to auburn. So one thing we thought is when you combine red and orange. That kind of makes it go a bit brownier. Auburn's brown, right? Auburn's no. brown. So, <laughs> so we're gonna get some orange juice and we're gonna fill it. We need something to stir this in. Would you mind going and making something to stir this in with? I was assuming you'd just shake it. It's got a hole, the lid's got a hole in it. By the way, the lid's got a hole in it. Cause, um, just don't. Just put your finger in it. I'll put my finger over it and shake yeah. it. Okay, I'll do that. Right. It's gonna be a disaster. Right, so in our lovely Chianti, we're adding like oh, half gosh. a mason jar's worth of uh, orange juice. I'm very sorry to anyone who's a red wine fan over here. We have thoroughly um, destroyed, destroyed this thing. Luckily, this is the only one made with shin grapes. So uh, it's the exactly. only wine we will actually be ruining. Yes, uh, everything else is not actually wine because um, we aren't wine. 
makers? Well, the thing is, is the, this is the only one that specifically mentions Shin grapes. Yeah. Whereas all the others seem to be like versions of fermented grains. Is that all, Gwen? I'm sure that will pass. There you it's go. Possible. We got Auburn. So now it's way red in the light. But hopefully tomorrow when it's done, we're going to pour this into a glass and hopefully it'll look more Auburn than it does whatever red Lucy's cooking up next. Cat, you don't want this. Cat, you do not want this cat. <laughs> <laughs> nice stretch. Cool. Fine. Right. Okay. So that's the Auburn done. Back to you, future Ben. Do you know what? I've just been thinking that from the perspective of the audience, this is all past Ben because all of this was past. So it's like, yeah. it's relative. Back to you, relative future Ben, who has his day-aged uh, skull wine and orange juice, which has developed a sediment on the bottom and on the top. <laughs> Can't wait so, uh, to drink this. Uh, should I give it a shake first before I pour it in? No, because no. then you'll mix no. all the sediment in. That's a good point, so I'm not going to do that. No, you just want it very, very carefully. So I'm that. going to strain this on. Do you want to hold the, do you want to hold the sip with me? <laughs> oh, I'm going to get alcohol over me. Oh my God, we're going to get alcohol everywhere. This I'm is... going to smell like wine for days. <laughs> well, should I, should I use the hole in the top to pour it? Mate, that's... No. no. Okay. Oh Aim for the middle. Aim for the middle. Cat, do not, do not come jumping in investigating. Hey, there we go. I would mix wine into that now. Yeah. Because otherwise it's not going to be wine. Right, so I've taken about half out of there. Oh, so we can drink some more later. So we can drink some more later when we want to drink that. Cool. So, gonna yeah, you're going to let that remove drink. Remove this. So that's our Auburn. That's very red. That is good. But it is quite orangey. I will take your word for that, that one. That is, I'm drinking that once this is done. I am going to add a little bit of red to that. A little bit. <clears throat> that is good. I'm happy with that. We have bastardized this uh, this poor Chianti. Um, but that is not got any spice to it. Oh, no. That's way more orangey than anything else, I think. Oh, uh, we should have maybe added the orange today rather than yesterday. Yeah. Right, if you are making it, don't add any orange juice, just yes. spices. Do the orange juice, like, less. Like, that was way too much orange juice, because that's just orange. Do you know what I'm going to do? More wine? More wine. More wine! Oh, that's making it way darker. Ooh. That is a much better colour, though. That is, like, the perfect auburn colour. Mmm. It's far more whiny. It's good. I think we did need to heat it. So we tried, the reason we let it sit for 24 hours, or rather closer to 8, 16. Yeah. Uh, the reason we let it sit is because we didn't want to heat it up. Um, because these wines, other than the violet, have never been described as heated up. Find here in the quote where someone's drinking warm violet wine. Just enjoy that um, later. Oh man, great time. Um, and we didn't want it, so we didn't want to heat it up. Uh, but I think that we need is heat up because like none of the nutmegs coming through, none of the cinnamons coming through. Oh, it's, damn. yeah, it's really no flavor is coming through other than the orange juice and the wine. Oh, so I that's think we, unexpected. I think we probably should have uh, heated it up. Yeah. We know for next time. We make it at home, heat it up so that those flavors get to know each other even better, and then still let them sit for like twenty four hours because like yeah, it's 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 a good way of letting flavors seep into one another. Cool. So that is the yellow which is bold and deep without guilt, and the Auburn, which is spicy with a with earthy aroma, which I've kind of failed at with the spicy part. But, but you'll do better. You'll do better. Next is probably the hardest to. Really? Um, well, I found this one the hardest to do. Right, Lucy, do you want to walk through the red? I can do, but I've got to remember what I'm doing. Yeah. So, red. I need, um, it says flavorful with a pleasant burn. So that sounds vodka -y to me. <laughs> that does sound vodka -y. So, but flavorful vodka. So, we are going with some red berry vodka. Very nice. Which unfortunately is not red. But mm. it should give that nice vodka kind of burn. I can't remember how many shots this is supposed to be, so uh, we're just gonna have some fun. Yeah. And then we are gonna move on to trying to get a red color to it. Yes. So, we are going to go with a blackberry and raspberry gin. Yeah. 
So how many shots are we up to now? Three or four? Five? Uh, there's only two in there. This is oh, three. Two in there so far. To help deepen the colour. Some moonshine. <laughs> this is good moonshine. This is moonshine got, that we got for as a present. <laughs> oh my god. So this is like two year old moonshine. It's it's delicious. It's I well developed. <laughs> I am a big fan of this moonshine. That's way too strong. I mean, luckily red is on the stronger half. I know, but I feel like that's now going to be stronger than my blue. But mm. I'll just add more vodka to my blue. Just add more vodka to the blue. Easy um, easy. So I'm going to water it down with some lemonade. Works. And then that is uh, hopefully the red. whips. So the blue, I need to pull up a recipe for, because I planned this one out, because this one is by far, I think, the hardest one. Um, sorry, this is the sapphire. Sorry, not blue. Not blue yet. We're sapphire first. This, I think, is the hardest one. This one is nutty. This has a nutty taste with hints of honey. And Naz says this is made from fermented larvis grain. Uh, and then depending on the infusions, tastes the most like whiskey. So just to, just to get things clear, I have to have a nutty flavor um, with hints of honey, but also kind of the most like whiskey. That's really hard to do. So I'm kind of, I don't think the whiskey's, the whiskey part's gonna happen. This is gonna be one of those infusions. You are you red? Yeah. Oh, that is good deep red. Um. Oh God. <laughs> oh, that's, that's so bad. That's that moonshine really, uh, really uh. added the spice to it. Um, Measure out your moonshine, guys. <laughs> um, so, I don't think this is going to be one of those infusions which uh, tastes like whiskey. But I'm going to start with that hint of honey. We tried. A f I tried a few options here. I tried mixing the honey in. I tried like two massive teaspoons of honey. I tried like one. It was all horrible. <laughs> so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to rim the glass with honey and not actually mix it in there. Just mix. Hope for the best. Because, um, yeah, it's not good. How am I going to do this? I've never rimmed a glass before. So I'm just putting, uh, <laughs> pouring the, uh, <laughs> you're over there, Lucy. I'm just pouring the, ri the, the honey over the rim of the glass. People. I'm watching you rimming. <laughs> if we have any, what are they call, what are the cocktail people call? What do we call cocktail people? Um, Mixologists? If any mixologies, mixologies? If any mixologists are watching, they're probably laughing at me right now. Everyone's Still laughing at you right now. This glass. Can we see how that's well rimmed? Look how rimmed, uh, that rimming skill. I'm so good at rimming. Okay, so now that I've got my well rimmed glass of honey, I'm getting two shots of nutty, is this just like nut flavored vodka? Yeah. Yeah, so this, this tastes very similar to Nutella. I'm doing two shots of that to give me that nutty base. I tried a few things to go with the nutty. I think the best thing that we came out with was a bit of a Bombay Sapphire gin. This is a neutral, it's like a plain gin, isn't it? Bombay Sapphire. I it's think kind of it's a, just sort of a standard gin. Yeah. This is just like your standard distilled London dry gin. Like it's, it's what it says on the thing. And I'm not a gin drinker. Uh, I'm a rum drinker, but none of these contain rum. <laughs> so um, I'm a bit out of my element. So because mine is forced to be more alcohol than uh, Lucy's red, which is half moonshine. Uh, so I'm going to top off mine with a bit of vodka as well. Oh my god, just don't pour as much moonshine into yours and you'll be fine. Oh my god, I'm not pouring any moonshine into mine. No, I'm saying like when people actually, like if anyone uh, okay. attempts to make this crap. Cool, so there is five, there's six shots in here now. That's two nut, two gin, two vodka. I think six is good. Six I think six good. is good and I'm going to top this off. Oh yeah, I forgot. So in order to get that blue color, um, we tried to get like a nice blue rum, like we tried to get like blue carousel, but it's like weirdly hard to find at the moment. Yeah. Um, so I've just got a nice little blue Alcopops. Uh, anyone who's lived in the UK probably recognised this from their youth. Um, <laughs> can't go wrong with a bit of WKD blue. You see how I said that I gave up on the whole, um, on the whole whiskey thing? This is not whiskey. This is, you drink this when you're 16 and you're not allowed to drink yet. 13? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know where you're from. And now we have a lovely sapphire with a bit of the hunt of hint of honey. I've no idea what this is going to turn out. No, 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 no. That's all nut. That is all nut. I told nut. you it would be. Ooh. But it's not terrible. Look at the sapphire. There you go. That's our sapphire. Okay. Time for the final two. Lucy, what have you got? Blue. Right. Needs to be alcoholic. 
It has complex notes of berry and lemon. I think this is quite an easy one to do, as long as you can find something blue. But I didn't want to do the same blue as yours. Yes. So I've gone with something different. Yeah. Having and we're just hoping that different is good. Yeah, we had to get two blues. Um, obviously one's a dark blue, one's a light blue. But there's not a huge amount of blue alcohols on Earth. So, so I'm swapping to a double shot. Lucy swapping to a double shot glass. And uh, I'm doing two shots of raspberry vodka. A few shots of red berry. Are you making the knockout juice? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I wish. We don't talk about knockout juice. We, do we talk don't about talk about knockout juice. <laughs> Lucy has a we history don't with, talk about with uh, knockout this recipe. Juice. <laughs> I might do a couple of shots of gin just to make sure it's definitely on the uh, alcoholic side. Mm. You've got to get it more alcoholic than my six shots, so you've still got some way to go. Well, that's six. That's six, so one or two more. And uh, mate, that's like half the glass now. I've got to need to remember how I'm doing my violet. You oh yeah. how you're doing oh, your violet. Yeah. <laughs> so that's three double shots so far. However, in order, to get it to a different shade of blue than yours, I'm gonna do one shot of moonshine. Okay. I've just noticed my, my violet. There is method to my madness. I was like, it's my violet, but also has the moonshine in it. So this moonshine is, uh, it's, it's... It's making its way. It's making its way. And then, to get the blue. Oh, yes. I found some blue raspberry and lemon juice. And, uh, oh boy, I don't want to drink this. God, this was sugar-free as well, so it's got that horrible, yeah. that horrible sugar-free taste. We'll but, see how it goes. But. Lucy, you have just made a violet. That is a violet. I don't know if the camera is picking up how purple that is. It's not. Success. <laughs> <laughs> it's blue, look. It's, it's, it's blue. blue. Yeah, sure, it's blue. It's blue. Maybe I added a bit more moonshine than I was supposed to. Maybe, yeah. yesterday, so the blue wouldn't be I, No, 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 because yesterday it didn't look as purple. Mm. But, uh... The, it looks blue on camera, so let's blue. pretend it's blue. Right, I need to make my violet, which is going to be different to that violet, I promise. We got this Palmer Violet Gin Liqueur, because if I'm making a violet, it's going to taste like Palmer Violets. Naz does say it has a spiced sandalwood aroma, and I've tried many different alcohols, which had, like, a kind of that spiced aroma to them. I tried a lot of rums, uh, like spiced rums, but they just turn it brown because spiced rum is brown. Yeah. Uh, and so it's very difficult to do that. So uh, basically I'm going to get this Palmer Violet gin. Um, yeah. That's about half of the thing. This is the most intoxicating by the way. So that's about half a glass of Palmer <laughs> Violet gin. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Lucy, could you pass me the Gordon's gin? So, we've got half a glass of Parma Violet Gin. We've got two shots of a plain gin in there. I was going to use the moonshine to darken it. I don't think it needs to. Do you not I think, think it that's needs? a beautiful, you beautiful think white that's color. Beautiful white color. And then, because all the Rochara wines are described as, like, bubbly... Um, lemonade. Dash of lemonade. Dash of lemonade. <laughs> it needs to come on, more than that. Right, there we go. There we go. Purple. That, that done. That is that is the violet. Essentially, it's just Palmer Violet gin with more gin to because the Palmer Violet gin was like twenty percent, and so that right there is our violet. Wines cool. of Rochar. Wines of Rochar, everyone. Now, wines are done. Wines. However, are... we all know there is a uh, famous drink on Rochar that is not a wine, and uh, I feel like. No video would be complete without it. So. We're not forgetting about you. We're going to make our own versions of what we think a horny to white would be like. And then we are going to try each other's. Yeah. I don't want to. Give me a glass. Right. Well, and it's not wine. We're not using wine glasses. Yeah, so this is supposed to be a Pints. lager. But we don't know how to make lager because we're not lager makers. Um, so Lucy, can you pass me the vodka? <laughs> this is Ouzo. I don't know if any of you will have drunk Ouzo, but it is um, very much just like a Sambuca. It's just 
aniseed and it's horrible. So in it goes. And then I'm gonna go with some triple sec. And toffee fudge vodka. It's a thing apparently. <laughs> That's my white done. Gin. However, I'm going to be a little bit more generous with your lemonade than you've been for me. Excuse me? I think I, I gave mine a nice <laughs> bit of fizz. It's got a bit of fizz in there. I can't drink that. <laughs> but you definitely can't drink this. It's going to be disgusting. Now, uh, we're going to clean up our uh, creation area. And do the taste test. Cool. So now that you've seen how we made these, um, we're now going to try them. I'm going to try Lucy's and Lucy's going to try mine. Well, obviously we've tried ourselves because we used to try and like get them ready. Um, but we haven't tried each other's. So I'm going to try your pink and you're going to try my orange. And this is just tonic water, right? Um, before Ben starts, okay. the pink is delicious. Please ignore everything that's about to come out of his mouth. So here's the thing. Tonic water does something weird to my mouth. I don't know how else to say this. This is more than just, I find tonic water disgusting. It's actually actively repellent to my mouth. So I'm going to drink this, react horribly, but Lucy says it's tasty. It's so delicious. Let's enjoy some pink and some orange. Mm. God, I immediately regret this so much. I need to wash my mouth out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to try anything higher. What do you think of my orange? It's very, very gingery. It is. And what's quite nice, it's got a very subtle liqueur taste, but it's just mostly ginger. Yeah, that, as I said during the making of, it's less fruity with a hint of ginger, more ginger with a hint of fruit. Yeah. But I think it's, I think it's delicious. I'm yeah. going to be drinking that once we finish recording. I'm just drinking that. That's like my drink for the evening. It's like seven in the morning. <laughs> Okay, next is the yellow and the auburn. <laughs> so, enjoy my auburn, and I'm going to enjoy your lovely yellow. What was in your yellow again? Uh, that is lemoncello and some kind of vanilla liqueur. Excellent. It's got bits in it. <laughs> I don't remember any of the wines being described as bitty. That yellow cello has a flavour? Mmm, <laughs> awful. Oh, this is supposed to be guilt-free, right? Yeah. Let me just see if I feel guilty drinking this. I feel guilty for drinking that. Uh, that's horrible. No, that's just that's good though. It's, that is guilt free, I'd say. That is definitely guilt free. Mold wine needs to be heated. It's not that bad. We've ruined that red wine. But that is not that bad. I feel like if it was hot, it would be nice. It would be way better if it was hot. <laughs> Absolutely, we should heat up. But yeah, never again. Mold wine. Cool. Red and. <laughs> My sapphire. This is the travesty. This is the worst. Excuse me. This is the worst thing I've I ever made. I feel like anything from here onwards is <laughs> awful. Oh no. Alright. Oh, it's sticky! <laughs> Why is it sticky? Why is it sticky? Oh, you can see how the, uh, the honey is like coalescing at the bottom. Uh, right. It what? shouldn't be congealed. <laughs> Ew. Can I just say I drank No. <laughs> I think they're both awful. They're both... <laughs> that's horrible. I thought I'd like that. I love that moonshine. That's horrible. I feel like I, feel like I added too much moonshine. Mm, let me try it again. Yeah. <laughs> that's awful. I'm going to have to wash it down with the sticky... Ugh, it's so sticky. <laughs> I regret making this video. Ugh. 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 Why did we do this to ourselves? I don't know. It seemed like such a good idea oh, on oh paper. God. But now that it's happened. <laughs> it's, it's just regret. <laughs> well, I'm really jealous of you because I know that's delicious. I had some of that Parma Violet, vodka, uh, Parma Violet gin the other day and that's yeah, delicious. Yeah, but you didn't drink a whole cup of just the gin. That's a good point. I have never, I, what's, I don't even remember what's in this. Oh God, the moonshine's in this again, isn't it? Yes. It's Return of the Moonshine. <laughs> so much vodka in there. Oh my God. <laughs> You're right. If that yeah. was with some tonic water and like maybe a quarter of that amount, it would be delicious. Mm. But oh boy, a whole bottle. <laughs> oh, that's very strong. 
I think that's way stronger than what I made. Or it might just be the vodka that's making it taste stronger. I think it's the vodka. Yeah. That's yeah. awful. Don't don't make that at home. Don't. Like, just don't make anything <laughs> in this. <laughs> this section, delicious. Fantastic. This section, that's fine. I think the violet's fine. I'm happy to drink this fire. Ugh. I'm gonna make you drink mm, the whole glass. Very of yummy. Now I'll probably serve lemonade to that afterwards and you drink that. Yeah, because that's the thing. Like, if it wasn't supposed to be so strong, that yeah. would be delicious. Yeah. In fact, I think if they weren't as strong, these yes. would all be delicious. Yes. However, because they because they get stronger, stronger. Yeah. And like you start with like one shot, like two shots. I'm gonna go with three, but it's wine. It's wine, so it doesn't count. Yeah. Four. Five, six, six seven, seven, eight. Like by the time you get to this end, because they've had to get progressively stronger. Yeah. You can taste it. Mm-hmm. And uh, oh boy. All right. Well, it's time for the final round. Oh no. Oh, oh, I forgot about this one. Grab your white. I don't want to. Grab your white. I don't want to. God, I can smell oh, this from make here. Me. Here we go. We've got a couple of whites. <laughs> Oh, God. I don't want to drink just a cup of vodka. <laughs> At least I gave you variety. Oh, I can smell. Oh, no, is that like. Oh, that's the ouzo, isn't it? Oh, God, the, I can smell the ouzo. Right. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! God! Ah! Don't drink horny to white. Just don't bother. Just don't. If, if someone says, hey, let's make some wine to Rochard. And someone says, oh, what about the horny to white? Ignore that person. They are, they have terrible ideas. I think we have terrible we ideas. We have terrible ideas, except for this one. I am so happy with this one. I'm going with this. Ugh. Pink's the best. Cool, yeah, orange is the best. I'm just- Delicious. It. Delicious, I'm amazing. Absolutely delicious. I'm gonna be making this like regularly. Um, cool. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, our Wines of Rochar video. Uh, you'll find all of the recipes, if you can call them recipes, I don't think you can. Uh, they'll be in the description, or they'll be in, uh, they'll be somewhere. I'll put the, a link in the description, which will take you to somewhere, which will have all the, uh, the recipes. Um, don't and do it. Just, just don't do it. Make this, make the orange and nothing else. And just, mm. No, 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 the yellow is slamming. The yellow is pretty good as well. The yellow is good. The yellow is without guilt as it should be. Mm. The yellow just tastes like melted lemon ice cream. It's delicious. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Um, but none of these. None of the rest. <laughs> none of the rest. If you if you live on sale, don't import this this blue wine. <laughs> um, if you live on... Where else was there blue wine? There was somewhere else. I'm sure that there was some blue wine on Scadrial. There was... Elantris definitely had blue wine yeah. because they imported it from... I can't remember. Jador? No. I can't remember. But yeah, don't import Earth Blue Wine. Just import the Roshara one. Hopefully that's better than what the trash we've made. Um, I don't know. <laughs> A lot of regret for this video. Mm. Follow us on 17shot.com. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, follow us on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, we have a Patreon, so you give us money. Um, what else? I can't remember what else. I don't know. Um, don't fund our alcohol habit. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Make some of them at home, but don't make all of them. Actually, if you have, any. if don't you guys any. have any better ideas how to make these wines um, at home, leave those in the comments. Or just make them. Or just, make, just them, make them. And then just enjoy them. And make this. Make ginger beer with kumquat. It's good. Now, thank you very much. Join us next time for something completely different. Um, Who knows what? We're going to go get trashed on the cocktails we made for the rest of the day. <laughs> Um, oh, God. Bye. Bye. <laughs>